As we unravel the key indicators that unveil a firm's monetary fortitude, we shall equip you with the tools to make astute investment decisions and foster financial success. Profitability. At the heart of any prosperous enterprise lies profitability, the foundation upon which businesses thrive. Profitability is measured through net income, which is the revenue after subtracting all expenses. Positive net income is indicative of robust financial performance, while negative values warrant caution. As wise investors, we recognize that consistent profitability paves the way for sustainable growth. To ascertain a company's profitability, we dive into its financial statements, specifically the income statement. We analyze the revenue streams, operating expenses, cost of goods sold, and other relevant expenses. Through this lens, we gain insights into the company's ability to generate profits and the effectiveness of its cost management strategies. Additionally, we keep a watchful eye on gross profit margins, operating profit margins, and net profit margins. These margins reveal the percentage of revenue retained as profit at different stages of the business's operations. Higher profit margins indicate better control over costs and pricing power, portraying a financially adept organization. Revenue growth. A dynamic business perpetually seeks to expand its horizons, and revenue growth plays an instrumental role in this journey. Steady or escalating revenue over time underscores a company's resilience and potential. Conversely, erratic revenue trends might signify underlying issues that warrant meticulous investigation. When assessing revenue growth, we meticulously analyze the company's historical financial data and projections. We pay attention to both the revenue's absolute value and its growth rate over different periods. By observing patterns and aligning them with market trends and industry dynamics, we gain valuable insights into the company's market positioning and competitive advantage. Liquidity. In the turbulent waters of commerce, liquidity acts as a lifeboat, ensuring a company can meet its short-term obligations. The current ratio, derived by dividing current assets by current liabilities, provides insight into a company's liquidity. A ratio above one indicates the ability to cover debts, while higher ratios reflect a more robust financial standing. To gauge a company's liquidity, we meticulously scrutinize its balance sheet. We examine the composition of current assets, including cash, accounts receivable, and inventory, compared to its current liabilities, such as accounts payable and short-term debts. By doing so, we can assess the company's ability to honor its financial commitments and weather potential cash flow disruptions. Debt to equity ratio. The delicate balance between debt and equity profoundly influences a company's financial stability. The debt to equity ratio showcases the level of reliance on borrowed funds relative to shareholders' equity. Lower ratios imply a more prudent capital structure, reducing the risk of financial strain during challenging times. Analyzing a company's debt to equity ratio involves a thorough examination of its long term debt short-term debt, and shareholders' equity from its balance sheet. We delve into the company's borrowing history, its repayment terms, and the overall impact of its leverage on the bottom line. Lower debt-to-equity ratios often indicate less financial risk and a more sustainable financial structure. Operating cash flow. Amidst the complexities of financial metrics, operating cash flow serves as a beacon of clarity. This indicator reflects a company's capacity to generate cash from its core business operations. Positive cash flow bolsters a firm's resilience, empowering it to invest in growth initiatives or pay off debts. To evaluate operating cash flow, we scrutinize the company's cash flow statement. We examine the cash generated from operating activities and compare it to its net income. Positive operating cash flow demonstrates that the company's operations are self-sustaining, while negative operating cash flow might indicate a need for external financing to maintain daily operations. Return on Equity ROE. Efficiency and effectiveness in utilizing shareholders' equity are key determinants of a company's financial prowess. Return on Equity ROE, quantifies a firm's ability to generate profits relative to shareholders' investments. Higher ROE signifies superior performance and prudent use of capital, 
capturing the essence of financial expertise. To gauge a company's ROE, we delve into its income statement and balance sheet. By dividing net income by shareholders' equity, we obtain the ROE ratio, which illuminates how effectively the company generates returns for its shareholders. High ROE values typically signify a management team skilled at capital allocation and optimizing resource utilization. Asset Turnover In the realm of financial prowess, asset turnover shines as a crucial indicator of operational efficiency. This metric measures how effectively a company utilizes its assets to generate revenue. A higher asset turnover signifies optimal resource utilization and, in turn, enhances financial strength. We delve into the company's income statement and balance sheet to compute the asset turnover ratio. By dividing total revenue by average total assets, we uncover how efficiently the company generates sales from its asset base. A higher asset turnover implies that the company maximizes its asset productivity, a hallmark of financial acumen. Gross and Operating Margins the interplay between pricing and cost structure is at the heart of profitability and gross and operating margins provide us with essential insights. Higher margins demonstrate that a company earns more per sale and efficiently manages its expenses, heralding superior financial acumen. To assess gross and operating margins, we analyze the company's income statement. The gross margin measures the percentage of revenue retained after deducting the cost of goods sold while the operating margin includes both the cost of goods sold and operating expenses. Higher margins indicate pricing power and efficient cost management, essential elements of financial expertise. Cash Conversion Cycle CCC. In the pursuit of financial excellence, managing cash flows efficiently holds paramount importance. The Cash Conversion Cycle CCC, gauges the time taken to convert inventory into cash offering a snapshot of a company's working capital management. A shorter CCC indicates effective cash flow management, a hallmark of financial brilliance. To evaluate the CCC, we examine the company's financial statements, including its balance sheet and income statement. By subtracting the average payment period from the average collection period, and then adding the average inventory holding period, we compute the CCC. A shorter CCCC suggests that the company swiftly converts its investments in inventory into cash, signifying effective working capital management. Putting it all together, as we amalgamate these vital indicators, we unveil a comprehensive portrait of a company's financial strength. It is vital to analyze these metrics holistically, recognizing that each indicator complements the others. A prudent investor adopts a multifaceted approach, viewing trends over time to ascertain the company's financial trajectory. As we bid farewell, let us remember that the journey of financial mastery is an ongoing pursuit, fueled by curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. Stay vigilant, embrace the ever-changing landscape of finance, and continue to unlock the secrets of prosperity. Until we meet again, May your financial ventures be prosperous and your wisdom ever-expanding.